Hey Bulldogs, welcome back. I am here with Mark Pearson. And Mr. Pearson, what brings you here today? Well, I used to be a teacher here at Mount Vernon High School, and uh, also I have gone to Mount Vernon High School when I was a student here, and a colleague of mine <clears throat> had called me and said they had some old skajinas that their parents had when they were here, and they were skajinas way back in the 1920s and such, and so I contacted your teacher, and uh, your skajina teacher, advisor, and he said, yes, they'd love to have them, so that's what brought me up here. Now, you said you were, you said you were a teacher here. How long were you a teacher here for? Well, I uh, taught for 30 years, and I've been retired for about 25 years. And uh, the one thing that kind of ties me in with what you're doing right now is that uh, we started uh, Mount Vernon High School uh, Bulldog Heavy 60, which is a radio program. And uh, it was part of our English curriculum, and it was a real neat program for the kids to be involved in. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Early uh, 70s. Uh, our high school was contacted by Bill Berry from uh, KAGT. He was the owner of the radio station in Anacortes. And he thought it would be a great idea to have students involved with radio. And so he contacted Mount Vernon, Burlington, Cedar Woolley, uh, and Anacortes to see if the students there wanted to put on a, an hour program. And so all the schools uh, started, and Mount Vernon was the only one that uh, stayed on for 20 years, 25 years, news staff, and they did that. And it's much like how you run your, probably your uh, Bulldog newspaper and the Skagina with all the students involved with different things. And, and then when he got put it together, we all went to the station and put on a live program. Uh, uh, it was hour long, hour long program, 60 minutes of music, news and sports. Uh, and every week they did that. And it went from uh, KEGT uh, and then KBRC. We changed and went to KBRC for about 10 or 12 years. And then we moved on to uh, uh, Skagit Valley College and their uh, radio uh, uh, broadcast. So we ended up, uh, that was our last, our last stint was with them. Um, sadly, we do not have the newspaper anymore, but we do have our yearbook class. And our yearbook class actually, we've already turned in the yearbook and we are actually um, getting ready to distribute them uh, June 5th. Check, uh, check social media. The postings on when you can receive them are going to be there. <laughs> what is your favorite memory from your teachings? Oh, boy. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of memories as anyone that goes through and does something for such a long time. The kids were always great. And I, there's so many different things that uh, I guess some of the, the fun things that I remember that were uh, maybe the administration didn't quite like it as much were some of the pranks that the seniors would pull uh, on senior week and because seniors just around the corner now for for you kids uh, it was kind of a fun time where uh, they used to take like a week off the seniors would have senior week and they would and take they would off and go to Juniper Beach or where we would go and then come back and so we had like a week off but it was it was kind of a neat thing where students would decorate their cars um, on a final day at Hillcrest Park, drive by the school, the hoot and holler, and, and everyone would be out of, out of class yelling and screaming for the seniors. But this one was, was really quite spectacular. And usually students will kind of give me a hint, like, say, hey, Pearson, you better uh, look out your window tomorrow. There's some crazy things going on. And I'll kind of have an in indication because they, they would kind of confide in me a little bit. Uh, but I came to school, looked out my classroom window, and the flagpole's out in front of my classroom, and there were tires from the bottom of the flagpole all the way to the top and I couldn't figure out for the life of me how could students get tires over the top of the flagpole and drop them down and I so it took well after school started I kind of pulled a couple of seniors aside and I said hey what's going on you gotta give me a clue and they said well about three or four in the morning we had this scaffolding and we put scaffold in we had a truckload of tires and we just started hoisting them up and putting more of the flagpole we were we were done and out of there and we didn't get turned in and uh, nobody knew anything about it until a few days later they kind of had to talk to a few of the seniors and I'm not sure whatever happened to them but it was a great prank and it didn't hurt anybody so what have you been doing for the last you know 25 years well, a lot of relaxing, just a lot of fun, enjoying retirement. I missed uh, teaching, but it wasn't something that I obviously wanted to go back into. But I've been uh, working with different things, and I guess my most recent uh, has been this bicycle program 
I guess they call it a bike project. And uh, your teacher uh, was talking about Mr. Meldahl and uh, starting a, um, a television program here. And he said his student, one of his students was Kevin Hartman, who I remembered as a student of mine. And uh, Kevin contacted me just a, oh, this last year and said, hey, for your project, I'll make up all your business cards. So I was very surprised to link up with Kevin, uh, oh, 20 years later after he'd been in my class and he still kind of looked the same. And so he made up these business cards for me. And I get bicycles from everybody in the community that wants to donate a bicycle. Doesn't matter the condition, size, or shape. And I clean them up, fix them, and get them workable. And it started with the uh, YMCA uh, Oasis Teen Shelter, giving them to the kids there. And then uh, I expanded to the men's and women's friendship houses. Uh, and so uh, people there that uh, need transportation because of situations they're in, uh, we get bikes for them. And then it went to the Northwest Youth Services who work with kids uh, 18 to 24 primarily. And they're in need of bicycles. And so uh, it keeps me really busy uh, doing that. I get bikes uh, from everybody and anybody. Uh, uh, the police station gets bikes that they can hold, have to hold for like, I think, 60 or 90 days, and then they're able to uh, uh, move them along. And so they've been really nice about donating bikes uh, for, for that. And uh, uh, one of the, working with kids, it was really fun to deliver bikes to the Children of the Valley after school program. And Flora Perez was her name, uh, coming through high school. Her mother was a counselor here, Maria. And... Uh, I was so surprised when I found out that she was the CEO and she's doing such a phenomenal job that I just couldn't believe it. Uh, and she has this Children of the Valley after school program for kids uh, that are, are going to, uh, uh, are bilingual uh, and get what you need in the little jump start in, uh, in schooling. And so I deliver all the little teeny weeny bikes, uh, well, teeny weeny, but you know, grades uh, kindergarten up through third grade, I guess. Uh, and so I deliver like 15 bikes to them, and the kids come out and get the bikes, and it's really exciting, to, and they're all excited about it too. So that's really a worthwhile program, and giving back to community, and it keeps me kind of keeps me very busy at home, so I don't get uh, too bored, and it keeps me active working with the community and working with youth and uh, some crazy people like I'm being interviewed with. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Uh, fun loving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. Crazy? I was crazy ones. <laughs> <laughs> for the alumni that might be watching this, do you have a few words for them? Well, yes, if I flunked you, come back and see me and I'll change your grade. Uh, I can do that. Uh, other than that, uh, it's always great to run into students that I've had in a class. It seems like every week I run into somebody and haven't seen them for maybe a year or two or maybe 15 years. And it brings back such great memories because uh, there's a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun in class and just did a lot of neat things and, and so just really a, a pleasure to to hear what they're doing now and they've gone and moved away and they come back or you just hear about where they are and it's always great to hear stories and i know all the other teachers that we get together every now and then uh, and they talk about running into uh, different students and it's always a neat thing so and i always wish them well and hope they're all doing great i know as a as an alumni from mount vernon high school they have to be some of the best but alumni for watching this, I'm so glad that you got to speak to your old teacher again. It was really good interviewing you. Um, I hope you have an amazing, you know, uh, day. <laughs> Go Bulldogs! Go Bulldogs, thank you so much, you're wonderful.